Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Church, also Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, Minister and Prophet M. J. Mays. Let us begin in prayer. Father, we thank you for your holiness, holiness and uh, the justice of you, Yahweh, and our right relationship, our, our right standing with you, and also our right wisdom, the Spirit of God, righteousness. We thank you for these three things, steadfast things for our lives to build us into great people. We thank you and praise you, Father God, for all these things. In your holy name, amen. All right, we're going to start our new series, uh, which is going to be attached to, uh, uh, where you find it is, is attached to uh, a book, the book in Enoch that we did, and also uh, Josh and then Jubilees. So we're doing studies on Jubilees, which was canon and, and uh, uh, people that weren't necessarily spirit filled um, took them out when they were canonized from the beginning. In the Bible, there's places in the Bible that talks about Jubilees. Uh, a, lot, a, a lot of Jewish people call Jubilees the little Genesis book, even though it's as big as the book of Genesis, because it's another look um, on the uh, uh, Genesis, but in another uh, outlines of different things that happen. So we're going to do uh, the study on Jubilees. Jubilees, uh, Elohim Dabar, which means God speaks. Elohim Divar. So you, you know a new Hebrew. Let's say it together. Elohim. So, so E-L, and then O, and then Him. Elohim. Dabar. D-A, and then B-A-R. Dabar. God speaks. And we're going to do Jubilees chapter 1, 1 through 29. And it came to pass in the first year of Exodus of the children of Israel out of Egypt, in the third month, on the 16th day of the month, that God spoke to Moses, saying, Come up to me on the mountain, and I will give you uh, the two tablets of stone, of the law of, of my commandments, which I will write that thou mayest see, teach them. And Moses went up into the mountain of God. And the glory of Yahweh uh, habered over Mount Sinai. And the cloud overshadowed it six days. And he called to Moses, on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, Sabbath, and and out of the midst of the cloud and appearance of his glory, the glory of Yahweh was like a, f a flaming fire on top of the mountain. And Moses was on the mountain 40 days, 40 nights. And God taught him the early and later history of the divisions of all the days and of the laws and of the testimonies. And he says, incline thy heart to every word which I have spoken to thee on the mountain. Write them in the book in order that their generations may see how I have not forsake them. For all, for all the evil which they have raft in transgression of the covenant, which I will establish between me and thee for their generations this day on Mount Sinai. And thus I will come to pass when all these things come upon them, and they will recognize that I am more righteous than they, in all their judgments and in all their actions, and they will recognize that I have been truly with them. And do do thou write for thyself all these words which I declare unto thee this day. For I know their rebellion and their 
stiff neckedness, which is today we call um, lukewarmness. Before I bring them into the land of which I swore to their fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and Jacob, unto their seed, will I give land flowing with milk and honey, and they will eat and be satisfied, and they will turn to and they will turn to strange gods, to, to, to gods which cannot deliver them, and not of their tribulations. This witness shall be heard for witnesses against them. For they forgotten my commandments. Have this world forgotten God's commandments? Yes. It's very sad, but yes, they have again. And we must not forget God's commandments. Even all that I commanded them, they will walk after after the heathen, and after their uncleanness, and after their shame, and, and will serve other false gods, and, uh, and these will approve uh, 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 unto them offensive and tribulation, and affliction, and snares. And many will perish, and they will be uh, taken captive, and will fall into the hands of their enemies, because they have forsaken my ordinance and my commandments, and my festivals of my commandments, and my Sabbath, Sabbath, my holy, and my holy place, which I have hollowed for myself in the midst my tabernacle and my sanctuary, which I have hollowed to myself in the midst of the land, that I have sh uh, should set my name, that I should set my name upon it, and that it should dwell there. And they will make to themselves high places and groves and uh, graven images, and they will worship in each of their own graven images. So, as to go astray, and they will sacrifice their children to demons, to to all the works of error in their hearts, and they will uh, send witnesses unto them, and uh, and I may witness against them. So God sends witnesses against the people that do these things, so that God can witness against them. Remember, too, it takes two. To establish that the thing, Amen. But they will not hear, and they will uh, slay the witnesses also, and they will uh, per persecute those who seek the the laws of God, and they will uh, haber and 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 change everything so as to work evil before my eyes, and I will hide my face from them, and I will deliver them into the hands of the heathen. For captivities, for prey, and devouring, and I will remove them from the midst of the land, and they will scatter them amongst the heathen, and they will forget my law, and all my commandments, and all my judgments, and will go astray as to the new moon, to the Sabbaths, the festivals, the jubilees, and the ordinance. And after this, they will turn to me from amongst the heathen with all their hearts and with all their souls and with all their strength. And they will gather them them from amongst all the, the, the heathen and they will seek me so that I shall be found of them. And when they seek me with all their hearts, with all their soul, and I will uh, uh, dis close to them abundance of peace and righteousness and and will remove them from the the plant of unrighteousness and from with all my heart with all my soul and they will shall be blessed and not for the curse and they shall be the head and not the tail and i will build my sanctuary in the midst and i will dwell with them and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, my people in trust and righteousness. And I will not forsake them, nor fail them, 
For I, Yahweh, their God, am, am, and Moses fell on his face and prayed and says, O oh, Yahweh, my God, do not forsake thy people and thy inheritance so that they should wander in error in their hearts. Do not do deliver them into the hands of their enemies, the, the heathen tree, lest that they should row over them and cause them to sin against thee. Let, the, let thy mercy, O Yahweh, be lifted up upon thy people. Create in them an upright spirit. Let not the spirit of Baal, Baal row over them to accuse them before thee to ensnare them from all the paths of righteousness so that they will perish uh, from be before thy face. But thy and thy people and thy heritage, which thou de uh, delivers, which great power from the hands of the Egyptians, create in, in them a clean heart and a holy spirit let them not be ensnared in their sins and, and hear forth unto eternity. And, and Yahweh said un, unto Moses, I know their contrites and their thoughts and their stiff-neckedness, which is lukewarmness, and they, they will not obey till they confess. They will not obey until you confess. Confess what? Their sins. Confession of sin is the beginning of salvation. But relationship is part of that. Amen. Confessing their sins and the sins of their fathers. And after this, they will turn to me and all uprightness and all their heart and all their soul. And I will circumcise the foreskins of their hearts and the foreskins of their hearts of their seed and i will create in them a holy spirit and i will cleanse them so that they shall not turn away from me from that day into eternity and their souls will cleave unto me and all their commandments they will fulfill my commandments and I will be their father and they shall be my children and, and they all shall be called children of the living God. And every angel and every spirit shall know thee and they shall know that these are my children, says Yahweh, that I am their father in uprightness and righteousness and that I love them. And I do not, and, and do thou write down for thyself all these words which I declare unto thee on this mountain, the first and the last which shall not pass in all divisions of the days in the law, in the testimonies, and in the weeks, and in jubilees, and unto the eternity, until the descendants dwells with them throughout eternity. And, and he said to the angels of the presence, write for Moses from the beginning of creation till the sanctuary has been built amongst them for all eternity. And Yahweh will appear to the eyes of all. And I shall know that I am the God of Israel and the father of all the children of Jacob the mountain of Zion for all eternity. Zion and Jerusalem shall be holy. And the angels of the presence which were before the camp of Israel took the tablets of division of the years from the time of creation of the, and, and the laws of the testimony, the, the weeks of Jubilee, according to the uh, individual years according to the numbers of jubilees according to the uh, individual years for the day of the new creation which the heavens 
and the earth shall be renewed. And all the creation according to its power of the heavens, according to the creation of the earth, until the sanctuary of Yahweh shall be made in Jerusalem on Mount Zion. And all the illumination be renewed for healing and peace, for blessing for all the elect of Israel. And thus it may be from the day until all the days of the earth, Selah, so shall it be, as the words of God spoke through Moses unto us today that we read in the book of Jubilees. So do you see that God loves you, that God always wanted to be father of this creation, but he doesn't want his creation to go into the heathen tree. The three words that Gentile means is not good. It should never be Never put on any congregation that wants to follow Yahweh and the Spirit of God, Yeshua HaMashiach. Do you understand that very well, Pastor? Stop calling your congregation and cursing them with the word what Gentile means. Goims mean three things. It means heathen. It means uh, people of darkness and people that are uh, other nations separate from God. These three words do not represent anything to do with someone that wants to seek God's face and, and, and be allow God to be their father. Amen. So we must understand these things. We must understand what, what it's scripture says because it is. It was canonized. It, it was it's to this day it's recognized by the Jewish people, the book of Jubilees. Um this is the very heart of God, he's speaking to us in this chapter one, because he wants us to know he, God himself wants to fellowship with mankind. Literally, not just the spirit of God, the spirit of Jesus, but God himself wants to fellowship with us. And the end of days, just like it says, that's why it says in Revelation of Yeshua HaMashiach, it says one likened to the son of God. A man, which was referring to Yeshua, but it's not Yeshua because it's the Father it's talking about that's coming. This is why the what we call the New Jerusalem, which is ancient Jerusalem to him, is coming because his throne is there in that Jerusalem, New Jerusalem that we call New, which is ancient. He's coming to be with his people. That's when the force way taken away happens. What, what you call the cunning up is about the wicked. That's why it says in the day of Noah, the day of Lot will be in the, the day when he when he comes. What what is what happened in the days of Noah, the days of Lot? What happened to the wicked? They were forcefully taken away. What happened to the righteous? They they had temporary relief from wickedness on the earth. But, but then it came back. But the third time, which is coming. It will be permanent until the till a very short period of time after the millennial, as you know, that some some of the children that are that are younger than twelve, when Yahweh comes, will be permitted to to grow because they're they're not countable until they after the age of twelve, and so they grow and and at the end some rebel, because some are rebellion is in their hearts. It just the way it is with some. And and so then God deals with them. And, and then the great white throne happens after the millennial. And there's another throne of rewards of what we did in the millennial reign, plus all that we did uh, continuously when, when of today, of what we've done. You know, but he will hand out his rewards when he comes. Amen. So let us get back to Father God. Let's get back to the covenants of God. Let's be a covenant people again, church, synagogue. Let's Israel. And soon uh, Egypt will be um, born again and, and, and hand in hand with Israel. For that prophecy of Isaiah will be fulfilled about Egypt. And, and many other prophets have prophesied that this. And even um, more modern day people have had prophecy on these things as well. 
So we thank you and praise you, Father God, the lift of our heads. We thank you that we are coming to people. We're coming back to you, Abba Father. And we, we represent what you did on the cross through your spirit that went into Mary and, and, and became a baby and then became a man later on. And three and a half year ministry, fulfilling the first three and a half years of, of Daniel, spoke of. And the last three and a half was shortened, just as your scripture says it will. And that's why we don't know exactly. It can be a year. It can be a little more than a year. It can be a less than a year. But it's shortened. Those three and a half years that are left are been shortened. This is your scripture says, so Father God. And so, Father, right now, I, 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 I pray for the lost to be saved now. Now, if you want to get right with God, pray this prayer. Start a good relationship with God today. And, and repent of your ways every day. Pray this prayer and be saved. Dear God, Yahweh. I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior of my life. Love you very much, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. God loves you. And the Spirit of God, Jesus, loves you. And, and, and wants you to leap, grow leaps and bounds with him. Amen. God bless. I'll read the book of John, the Gospel of John, the, the first two epistles of John, where it says John. Look for John books. Read them. Read them again. Read them one more time, and 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 just really, you know. And uh, I pray that you find someone's more seasoned and mature of, of of God's word that you can relate with, as you have questions naturally about what you're reading, that uh, you can go to. Um, God bless you. Shalom, shalom. I bless the new people out that have made this commitment to have a good relationship with you, Father God, and the Spirit of God, Jesus. And also um, repent every day so they, they keep their relationship clean so salvation will be like a beautiful river of life unto them every day. I thank you and bless the, my little brothers and sisters and those that recommitted their lives to you this day. And, and shalom be upon them. Amen. Let's end with a shalom prayer. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Nothing severed, nothing broken, complete peace of God. I leave you. Nothing, uh, uh, everything complete. Nothing shattered, nothing broken. Shalom be with you. God bless you. Keep strong. Stay, stay courageous. Remember what Jer uh, Joshua says in the book of Joshua. Um, it says, be bold, be strong, and let the Lord thy God be with you. Remember his Torah, which Torah uh, means law, but it also means even more than that. It means God's good teaching. Remember God's good teaching throughout the Bible. Amen. Because it's important. It builds you. It, it tears asunder the things that should be there. And it reminds you of People that did good things to follow those things. And people that have done mistakes or bad things not to follow those things. Amen. God loves you. Now go forth and be encouraged to, to, to have a wonderful relationship with Father God Yahweh and the Spirit of God Jesus Christ every day. Shalom to you. God bless. Amen.